So welcome back. This is my part two of my vlogs for the Old Testament introduction class. Um, I had my hair up in the first vlog, but I had my hair down in the first vlog and now it's up. Anyways, um, just to kind of talk, just jog your brain about what we were talking about in the first part, I was talking about how there's a, the two most interesting themes of the Old Testament that I found, and that was covenants and the um, greatness of Yahweh. So there was major themes, um, just to kind of remind you, it, it was cre covenant creation, God's sovereignty, greatness of Yahweh, kingship, and idolatry. Um, so now in this part, part two, um, our goal is to, based on what I've learned throughout this course, um, kind of explain how these themes I chose fit into the greater Old Testament storyline. So, we, so specifically with covenants, um, I believe that it fits into the storyline of the Old Testament because it essentially God has weaved these promises throughout the Old Testament like I had spoken about earlier to bring back um, to reconcile us into perfect reconciliation with him just as it was in Genesis um, just a reminder we know that in Genesis um, Adam and Eve were created to be in just it perfectly created in a perfect relationship with God and because of the introduction of sin um, with Satan and the fruit they um, became sinful people and their descendants all of us are just as, as our sinful people we fall short of the glory of God and so sin is a big theme in the Old Testament as well um, and we talked about this, I think, a couple weeks ago in our class. And so, with these covenants, God is combating, or God is um, using these promises and covenants to bring us back. He's already been combating the, not combating because he already won it, but he is bringing us back into perfect reconciliation from, with him because we fell out of that with sin. And we will never have perfect reconciliation with the Father until Revelation, in Revelation when Jesus comes back um, and brings his bride home. And so us, the church, are his bride. And he's going to come back and we are going to be fully reconciled with the Father. And that's something to be extremely excited about. Um, and so the other uh, covenant that I chose was the greatness of Yahweh. And the greatness of Yahweh, I believe, was these covenants and what God did in these covenants, the Noahic covenant, the Adamic covenant, the Davidic, um, Abrahamic. I believe that God really genuinely showed his, just how great he is, how everything, even in Genesis, when he spoke something, it was from nothing into something. It was from nothing into everything. And I know that in our lecture, lecture four, um, let me see if I can find it. There's a specific word that he used um, to describe it, and it's ex nihilo, ex nihilo, ex nihilo. Basically, from him speaking from nothing into everything. Um, the authority that God has, just how great he is. He flooded the entire earth. I mean, all of these things, they seem like, some of these things seem like bad things. Like when, when Joshua was um, overcoming those kingdoms, God put hailstones down from heaven or from the sky to conquer these people. But these were all people who were in God's will and people who were in closest with God and and it was a, it was a, it was warfare. It was warfare. God was, um, they were seeking the righteousness of God and the righteousness of God, um, 
we in the Bible it says that we should seek the righteousness of God that the things that God hates we should hate I'm so sorry about that and thing and essentially the things that God hates we should hate and the things that God loves we should love and so um I don't know where I was going with that because I was interrupted but these two themes I believe are heavily interwoven into the um, storyline of the Old Testament um, my train of thought completely just went out the door I, I think I explained a lot of this in the first video but um, with all that being said thank you so much for just listening to me talk and my little rants and um, I genuinely hope that this vlog these part one and part two vlogs were really informative for you all whoever you are all which will probably only be you professor but anyways um i appreciate the opportunity and pushing me out of my comfort zone and i thank you so much so with all being said have a great night okay bye